Hey everyone, welcome to Artery Gear Fusion. So we're going to be answering the question whether this game is free to play friendly and if you can really live off free um, recruitment currency. So we have two here. We have your forging crystal, of course, and your special hiring agreement, which is this one. This, uh, this little guy here. So the crystal is this one. So you have two. Definitely, you're... <laughs> Free to play is going to be um, dependent on the regular drops, not the event drops. The event drops would be icing on the cake, of course. So we're going to start off with your daily drop. So daily drop is going to be 50. So it's here. 50 times 30 days, that's 1,500 crystals a month. That's their daily drop. Next is going to be your weekly drop, which is here. 90 plus 90 plus 50, which is 240 times 4, which, which is a total of 960 crystals. Don't worry, guys. I'll be I'll be um, showing the competition later here um, in terms of how many crystals we'll be getting in total. So that's number two for your weekly quests. Next one is your union order. So your union order is this one this is your battle pass so you're be, you're going to get if you are a free to play of course you're only but be going to be going to getting the upper portion of this one so it's going to be a total of 360 this is already for the whole month and also you'll be getting three recruitment tickets here or special recruitment tickets here so one two and the last one is going to be three so 30 that uh, sorry 360 tickets we're gonna total it later the next one is going to be in your sample exchange which is here in your supply your sample exchange you can get this one the recruitment um, the regular hiring agreement you can get it here um one ticket a week times four weeks so that's four tickets okay next is going to be your lava rift your lava rift is here your lava rift is going to give you 600 crystals a month uh, considering that you complete this i actually haven't completed this yet so you must complete this every month so i'm gonna show you guys um the total here so this is basically the total. So also you can get it from your military supply. So your military supply is here. But this requires you to retire certain a certain um, mech to get this Union Golden Badge. So the regular ones don't give you the, the this one. They give you the Silver Badge. So that's the problem with that one. So moving on, PvP as well has um, has more or less a currency that you can. Let's. Uh, I got we got ours actually for the first week. So let's go to the ranking first and let's see. So as you can see here, when you rank high, of course you'll get uh, crystals. Uh, I'm not sure right now. I'm at two hundred ninety. So that's an additional one for me, but it's re it's really dependent on how you rank in PvP. Okay, so just the excluding military supply and PvP, the total guaranteed crystals you'll be getting is only 3,420 plus 7 tickets. Which, if you think, if you're, you know, if you want to pity a banner, maximum pity a banner i don't think you're gonna do this in a month and usually in a month i'm not sure on how many banners they're going to be putting out it's going to be probably one or two in a month so for you to save up for a full pity but and of course this does this does not include events six months at most four to five if there are events so that is how far or how long you're going to have to save for pity for this game. So um, to answer the question, is this game free to play friendly? I don't think so at the moment. 
because again you'll be having a hard time catching up with people or with players who have the capacity to spend that's the problem right now it's okay um we're just starting out but as the months go further uh free to play is gonna have a hard time um really gonna guarantee that because again this is so small the 340 guaranteed crystals plus seven tickets that is the, the 3 420 is that's just more or less one pull 110 pull so again at this point i don't see this game being free to play friendly if especially if you are after the banners you can actually play the game for free without you know um going after going after the other ags but again this game revolves around the ags what ages you should bring and um, again leveling up and copies of ages you need as well so well put your comments in the comment section let's discuss for me i think at as of this moment i don't think this game is free to play friendly based on the number of currency for free to play if the events do well then we're good but if the events don't give free to play a lot of tickets, I don't think free to play will be able to at least survive or compete on a you know on a mid level with those who spend because again those who spend will definitely get copies will definitely complete their set but for the free to play players I don't think this is going to be this is going to be a rough ride for most free-to-play players. So, what do you think, guys? Again, put uh, put your comments in the comment section below. Is this game free-to-play friendly or not? So, thank you, guys. Thank you very much. So, this is the breakdown. Um, you may reference this. And more or less, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do. And take care, guys. Stay safe. Take Stay safe. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.